so welcome back to part two uh we're going to continue with the project now and take it to the next stage right so let's think about these pages for a minute and what i think we'll do is use the seven piece gemini edgeables index page dies these are five by 0 0.5 so they would work fine haven't used these yet i did show you them in a haul i believe uh have to have a clear up again after this project and there they are so if we made seven pages we could make an index file like that on each page I think I'm going to do the cord and speed it up so let me get that out of the way
Right, so I've been round all the edging, as you can see with the cord. And I've just noticed my precision tip is melted off. So I'm going to have to find another glue gun. We'll go back to the crafter's companion one. We shall see. Right, now. Got to cover the edging inside. Down these lines here. I did mention the velvet trim that I've got. go down the inside with that's it Okay, so there's the two stripes in red. They're fine. And the trim is done all the way round. Got to have a closure of some description. So, one page we're going to do is a page to rest on because a couple of the pages are going to be are going to be um, used to write in the information about the baby. So I've got some Scotch thermal laminating pouches. These are 134ml by 184ml. So I've got the laminator going. And we're going to use one of these. And this is going to go inside the book. Now, it's going to be just a little bit too big. So I'm going to trim it down. Okay, so that should be about right for it to fit in. Once it's on the loops. So then, inside there, some recollections. Uh, sequin pieces they're quite small I don't know if I've got any others I don't think so and they're in red to go with the inside so we'll use those so we've got to find another picture again uh, okay let's use the pink and blue And of course, you know, if you've worried that it won't go well or you're not too sure about this, don't do it. If you're worried about losing one of your pictures, 
Okay. So we're going to sprinkle. All right, don't want the picture covered up. That's better. It doesn't seem to want to do if it's got more on the picture than it should have. So it's quite thick, that card. I'm just brushing the old ones off. Um, let's just go with this. If you made one that was just purely glitter without any picture in it, it would work fine. But we've got the added thickness of the picture in this. There we go, that worked better. And it's sparkly. I'm gonna go through once more. With the X-Cut corner punch. And there we are. So that can go in as a page. So we've got our first page. Now the other page is shape on the edges, if you remember. So I'm going to use this mixed media design pad by Make and Create. So we've got some pinks in here, hot pink, light pink, glitter. Oh, that's pretty. Like a metallic. Uh, another hot pink one, like a metallic. So these are really pretty, and they're plain on the back, so they could you could write on the back if the recipient has got somewhere to write. So I'm gonna die cut these pages on the edges, so we got we've got tabs. If I can get to it with all this mess. Okay. I think the pages might be a bit too big at the minute, so have a look at that. This craft one. Got to find all my Gemini plates. My instruction booklet, as I always do. Clear cutting plates, plastic shim, magnetic shim, plastic plate. Right, so let's get this through. Okay, there's our first tabbed piece. There we are. But obviously it's too big for the size of... I've got nowhere to put anything here. For the size of the folder. So we're going to go by our plastic one. So we need to cut that down. And I also need to shorten the plastic page because we want them all the same size. 
and just pop round our corners again. There we are. So that's the first one of the tabbed pieces. Okay. Now you can make your pages as big as you like according to the folder. It's up to you. I just want them roughly all the same size. So we've done this one. Let's move on to the next one. So I'll do all these off camera. Come back when they're all ready to go in the book. Right, so here's where we're up to now. All the pages have their tabs and I've cut them down to size so they fit inside the folder. You can, of course, make them bigger, taller. Uh, it's up to you, whatever size you want to do. I just wanted to make sure that when it's closed, they actually fit in okay. Now for a closure, I've got one of the Tim Holtz ideology buckles there. Now for each page, I've got something to do for it. Not the um, acetate page. But the rest of them so the first page we're going to do a white insert piece um, and that can have the baby's weight on it the name on it that sort of thing so i'm looking at the uh the pieces that i've already used up And we've got these frames so i'm thinking maybe one of these frames and then can have name weight length so i'm going to cut this frame out this has ended up being a much longer project than i anticipated so I apologise if it's in three parts. Um, it's just, yeah, it's not what I, how I expected it to end up. It's, um, I didn't think I was going to have to do so much to it, but obviously I have. And... I want to make it as good as I can get it so we've ended up with a long video okay so I've got some additional pieces I've pulled out I've got some little safety pins some uh, 49 and market paper clips, some little bulldogs, some paper clips in rose gold. So I weren't sure what I was going to use. And a griffin bows. My favourite, favourite tassels. And I happen to have a pink one. But I think this ended up being a little bit of an issue for this one when I was making another project so it didn't get used and of course it's lost its um, attachment piece so I'm not sure what we'll do there if I do use it I might just attach it to the front now yeah we'll see what we do and then I've got some ruler pieces, wooden pieces, some of these plastic ones. It's a girl. Uh, you know, little pram. 
ABC buttons, all sorts of bits and pieces. And the Tim Holtz Ideology Knife, Fork and Spoon. And I thought a spoon would be really good on here. Look how cute these are. I mean, honestly. Oh, there goes the glue gum. So, so sweet. So we might end up putting one of those on. But for this page, I'm going to add a ruler piece because it's name, length and weight. So I'm going to add a ruler piece. Probably just across the top there. I could use a longer piece and cut it, I suppose, at two and a half inches. Let's get the Stanley blade out. Two and a half. There we go. That'll fit across the top there. So we'll hot glue that on. You can add whatever you like. Don't have to add extras at all if you don't want to. Entirely up to you. So I'll glue that on and then clean up the hot glue. So it's going to be name, weight, height on there. So I'm probably going to have to do that in letters. We'll dig some letters out and put that on there. And then the next page we're going to have, we're going to put some photo corners on for pictures of the baby. Here we are. So these are photo corners. Doesn't say who they're by. So I guess I just bought them in a haul or something, in a stash. So they're really sweet. You can pop the picture in there like that. So uh, let's kind of do them diagonally. And they're in red, which is handy because, of course, we've got red and pink going on. Let me just see. Take that off a minute. If we use one of these frames. And we can get an idea of where they're going to sit. This one's a little bit wonky on the sides, but that's fine. Ah, oh, that's better. So it would sit kind of like that. And then at the top, I've got these, this pack of, they stickers, but they've got all sorts of things on them. So they've got like, hello and friends and best buddy, welcome, peace, believe, 
all this sort of thing. And I saw the memories one. And I thought that'd be quite sweet for up there. Uh, and maybe a bow and a griffin bow on the top of the frame so that's for that one So we've got those two so far. The third one is glitter, which you can write on the back, but obviously it's very, very glittery. And I have to say that the glitter does come off of these. So beware from that particular uh, six by six pad. Okay, so on this one, could cut down a couple of cello bags for pockets. Let's do them in the machine in the guillotine. So we'll cut them down. So we've got two little see-through pockets that we can put on here and one can be first tooth and first curl so we could put those on that on the outside of those pockets and then attach those to the glittered one And of course, it's just a case of adding to the pages anything else you want to add. Uh, I'll actually take the perfect one off of there and put today because that's the one with the name length and weight which I've got to put on and then we've got an assortment of other bits so I'll get those all added on and then I'll come back mm -hmm. 